Marco Rubio becomes the third Republican to declare his presidential bid. Despite a plea for time from Kerry, Senate proceeds with a bill on the Iran deal. Israel slams Russian decision on S-300 anti-missile systems. And Baby Northwest is baptized in Jerusalem. Shalom and welcome to the Jerusalem Post News. The top story is for April 14th. Senator Marco Rubio officially launched his campaign for president yesterday evening in Miami with a nod to Israel and a dig at Democratic frontrunner Hillary Clinton. And if America once again accepts the mantle of global leadership. Yes. By abandoning this administration's dangerous concessions to Iran and its hostility to Israel. This election is a generational choice about what kind of country we will be. Now, just yesterday, a leader from yesterday, <laughs> began a campaign for president by promising to take us back to yesterday. <laughs> yesterday is over. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry asked Congress yesterday for space and time before they moved new legislation on Iran to a vote. We hope Congress will listen carefully and ask the questions that it wants, but also give us the space and the time uh, to be able to complete a very difficult task which has high stakes for our country. It involves major national security, major issues of potential conflict versus peaceful resolution. And uh, we're very hopeful that uh, this dialogue will be very productive. Mr. Thank Mr. you all. Mr. Appreciate it. But several senior congressional aides told the Jerusalem Post that leadership in the Senate on both sides of the aisle still plan to proceed toward that vote this week. The bill put forward by Senate Foreign Relations Committee Chairman Bob Corker grants Congress the ability to conduct oversight, hearings and review of any comprehensive deal concerning Iran's nuclear program. Israel has criticized an announcement made yesterday by Russia that it had decided to lift its five-year ban on the delivery of S-300 air defense missile systems to Iran, which, according to the U.S. and Israel, could be used to shield Iran's nuclear facilities from possible future airstrikes. Отмечу, что С-300 зенитно-ракетный комплекс, который имеет исключительно оборонительный характер, он не приспособлен для целей нападения и не не поставит под угрозу безопасность какого-либо государства региона, включая, конечно же, и Израиль. Dozens of fans mobbed an SUV that took the couple, the 22-month-old child and Kardashian's sister Chloe, to the church. They were stopping over after a five-day trip to the Kardashian's ancestral home of Armenia, where the celebrities paid tribute at a memorial to mass killings of Armenians by Ottoman forces. And that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow with more news from Israel. Until then, shalom from the Jerusalem Post studios.